Shulamit Koenig, following in her footsteps, Eleanor Roosevelt's Red Cross Shoes, 1989. The feet that trod in these shoes. Eleanor Roosevelt's journey is an example to all and the inspiration for this work. This sculpture is said to be modeled on the self-same shoes that she wore while attending to the ill and wounded during World War II. Cast by the sculptor and human rights activist Shulamit Koenig, six copies were distributed to select recipients during the Decade of Human Rights, 1995 to 2005, and this is the only one available to private collectors. Proceeds from the sale will benefit a fine cause, so do bid freely. A Microwave Oven, 1998 Perhaps not the smartest way to cook, but then again, who has time to be a chef? Perhaps too many thoughts race through your mind. Perhaps you are disturbed by unwanted mental activity. If so, this may be the prize for you. Guaranteed to dim your lights. George Bush's Former Horseshoes, 1991 From out of nowhere, a bang and a clang. A pair of horseshoes at my feet and not a horse in sight. Examine them carefully, stained with blood and bearing the Bush presidential seal. A weighty experience indeed. Quite a score. Lincoln's Gettysburg Address Original Manuscript 1863 it is said that the crowd ignored Lincoln's short speech that day, but his words, imprinted indelibly on the ether, brought a struggling country into a new definition of itself. Perhaps the pre-world body's greatest statesman at the moment of a great crystallization, without doubt of immeasurable worth. Acme Shopping Network's Buyer AI Calculator, 1997 Here is an item a collector can count on. This honest-to-goodness number cruncher once calculated profits for unscrupulous merchandisers. Vicariously experience the covetous thrill of swindling the public in massive numbers. On your day off, of course. Take a calculated risk on this one, dear bidder. Adam and Eve, Sexual Androids, 1998 When is enough enough? How much is too much? For their original owners, hungry for safe sexual experience, Adam and Eve were the ultimate in foreplay, the beginning of the end, a gratifying acquisition. African reliquary figure, Mbulu Nkulu, circa 19th century. This handsome figure once guarded funerary urns containing ancient tribal skulls. Its magic kept away evil spirits, and its power is said to be everlasting, a bewitching object to secure a priceless collection. Air Raid Siren Mid-twentieth century. Hard to believe this exercise in formal abstraction was a utilitarian device. And stranger still that it was the herald of coming doom. A quaint construction when viewed out of context. Its very presence struck fear into the hearts of mid-twentieth century citizens. A delightful acquisition. Stillman Morris's painting, Albers Hoffman Repairs Rothko. A prime example of Morris's légitimat. What was a Rothko is now a Morris, 
and who shall say that we are not the better for it, or the worse? In any case, there is no doubt as to the provenance of this work, nor to its value in contemporary market. A more lively commodity would be hard to find, and perhaps harder yet to keep. A rare opportunity to enhance your private collection. The Diary of Amelia Earhart A leading figure of 20th century aviation was also a secret castaway. The riches to be found in the simple life proved greater than those offered by the civilized world. Explore the musings of this refugee from the 20th century and ponder your own fate in the process. A reflection from a remote isle for the highest bid. An IBM mainframe computer, 1986. There was a time when this behemoth was the king of the computational heap, the pinnacle of precise calculation. Think of it, before the innovations of microengineering and the theoretical leaps of Benjamin Mott. Now, of course, this beast is dwarfed by our fingernail-embedded translators. But what a piece of history, and all yours, for a timely bid. Ancient Tibetan Cheese, Tale of the Phoenix, circa 1811 The holy symbol of a nation's struggle to be free, this item is certain to make its owner the bidding room's biggest cheese. In fact, its inimitable scent has been sought by perfumers for a century, an almost holy selection. Brickley Hunts, Ascending Cubes 22, 1999 Is the wolf at the door? Who will answer it? Is there one among us who can recognize a wise protector who would not be liberated by a little help around the house? Hunts' proto-majordomo takes it on the chin without comment or complaint. This cleverly constructed functionary is one of a kind, a triumph of domestic security, from the wizard of spatial relief. Sweep your cares away with this artful sentinel at the gate, a dream acquisition for the enlightened bidder. Assets of Supersede Incorporated Dissolved 2009 In the art of genetic sampling, Superseed surpassed all expectations, reconstructing the face of family values. Superseed is gone too, but its assets are pure, their seals unbroken. For the bidder born to win a fertile opportunity. Assyrian Sculpture, Lamassu, circa 710 B.C. Stand back. Regard. Is this massive bearded centaur coming at us, or merely standing watch? Here is a profoundly moving beast to guard your palace gate. Awesome, isn't it? Byzantine, I'd say. What's more, the gorgeous limestone wall is included in the price of one bid, certain to become the pillar of your collection. Quite a bargain. Astrobot Prototype, 2008 For weekend getaways with your loved one, this is the perfect vehicle. A 21st century bicycle built for two. Its high-definition video will entertain with close-ups of its last mission to the love planet. Very cozy. The best feature, cruise control. 
and a fully stocked bar designed to last nearly a light year. Do step forward. Aztec Ceremonial Knife, 15th Century A prominent feature of urban Aztec life was the ritual human sacrifice of political ne'er-do-wells. High protein for gods of the harvest and the sun. The imposing thunderbird is a perfect ornament for this scalloped instrument of death. Carve a splendid new niche in your collection, and look sharp. Here is a tasteful proposition. Beethoven's Tenth Symphony, Original Score, Date Unknown The Master's Final Work, which foreshadowed a century of structural dissonance. The handwriting alone is a treasure of psychological tracings as the deaf composer reached into the realms of silence, awakening the mortal ear to unheard melodies, the crowning achievement of the first modern composer. A bit in time takes it. Benin Bronze, Queen Mother Head, circa 16th century. Sir Perdu, this stylized work displays a formal abstraction merged with a smooth, naturalistic touch, an objet d'art of distinct characterization. Muse with the indwelling spirit and pierce the mysterious veil of the African queen with a timely bid. Billy Floodgate's collection of 1950s tin toys. Before his incarceration for embezzlement in 1999, New York City Mayor Billy Floodgate had amassed a peerless assortment of these rare figures. His collection was confiscated, and now you, dear bidder, may profit. An array of unique figurines for mere millions. Botticelli's painting, Birth of Venus. Can one avoid rapture when gazing upon this beautiful work? Venus herself, upon the half-shell, a delectable morsel, and the intangible flavor of rebirth breathes through the painting as if the very wind itself. The Renaissance is at its peak. Vasily Kandinsky, Black Line, 1920. What dazzling radiance! Words fail in the presence of this vibrant work. Its sharp, fiery arsenal of forms grip the eye in a rhapsody of spirit, the music of the soul. From the father of abstract painting, this beautiful explosion of saturated color a vision of the non-visible mind. Bid, and the cosmic truth is yours. Bob Dole's Spleen, Extracted, 1996 Once this fateful organ was removed from active duty, rancorous congressional filibusters took on loving dulcet tones a reminder of the proximity of our baser selves, lest we forget. Byzantium Nightingale, 2005 The offlands would have been a far colder place if not for this magnificent specimen, yet it came not without a cost. Meditate upon this eternal oiseau, and speculate on the fate of humankind spinning on a tiny planet in a corner of the universe. Let your bids take wing.
William Jefferson Bill Clinton's saxophone traveled with Wild Bill from the early days of the campaign through the achievements of his first and second terms. Rarely can an item of such value be enjoyed so viscerally. A rare opportunity. Cloned Dinosaur Eggs, 1998 These orphaned eggs will prove a decorative plus for the creative collector. Suitable for home or office, their smooth surfaces, spectacular patterns, and crackled centers will cradle your collection with an air of warmth and comfort. The Flute Player, Cycladic Figure, circa 2500 B.C. Gazing on the heavens and intoning the ancient melodies of Greece, surely the mysteries of life are eternal. This flute player addressed the opaque cosmos nearly five millennia ago, and still his song is heard. This ancient may fill you with echoes of immortality if you are to win the bid. Donatello's David, circa 1440. The earth trembles, the sky breaks, and a tyrant falls in feathers, headless, at the foot of his intended prey. Lissom young David, a man of valor, courage, and a certain sultry intelligence. A knight so ideal he needs no armor beyond his faith. What a triumph. Baldung Green's Death and the Maiden, 1517 Death has an insatiable hunger for life, and no one denies its appetite more than the living. In this potent reminder of our common fate, a pale beauty, too young for the other side, begs for a merciful last look back, a painting to move any bidder to action. Today is what counts. Tomorrow may be too late. Devoxer Jukebox, circa 1948. A visual and oral spectacular, dating from an impressionable era. How quaint the design! How endearing the tunes contained therein! Why, they even have melodies, and so shall you, dear bidder, if you wisely bid. This innovative sculpture calls into question our most basic assumptions about politics and representation. The very flag that represents the dissolution of archaic nationalist differences, merged with the most fundamental of human expressions. And, what can I say, a brilliant work by an artist whose name will not be silenced. The perfect conversation starter for your most select gatherings. The Easter Island Monumental Head Sculpture Finality Knows No End The eternal gaze of this massive head Seated over centuries on the trembling land, gazing afar across the waters. Time has stopped. It is but an instant, and our cares vanish before immensity. A charming piece for any collection. Gian Lorenzo Bernini's Ecstasy of St. Teresa, 1646-1652 to 
<gasps> my heart, is it stopped? I fall to my knees before this exultant figure, weak in the presence of truly divine intervention. Oh, glory, passionate, profound, astonishing, a translucent wonder. For the lucky bidder, Teresa of Avila will prove an eternal muse. This is a heavenly opportunity. Pen Jacobs, Eighteen Holes of Human Misery, 2002 A modern Stations of the Cross, this innovative site-specific work is the living legacy of a gifted artist. Pen Jacobs is tragically no longer with us, but this profound gaze into the face of modern horror can imbue us with the insights which cost him his life a peerless work of unblinking apprehension, and yours for the highest bid. Excalibur, Sword of Arthur Still embedded in stone, Excalibur awaits its new Arthur. Is it you? Immune to lasers and all known forms of detonation, our prize will yield to no force except that of the hand foretold by Merlin. And until then, an incomparable conversation piece. F-23 Fighter Plane, The Femme Fatale, 1997 until the gutsy Captain Benton took flight in this amazing jet, the color pink was not considered useful camouflage. But the soft appearance and alluring figure of this F-23 confused enemies accustomed to basic black and hard steel. A righteous acquisition. First hockey stick to be used as murder weapon in a World Hockey League game, 1997. In the art of blood sports, this hockey stick ranks as a leader, a real killer. Note the fine, blonde grain of the wood, the long, proud neck. Very handy in the bidding room, a smashing opportunity. First minted one world coin, 2005. How it glitters when first minted, this concrete expression of world unification thrilled us with its significance. One may ask, is it fitting that the world should be awed by a coin? Well, it surely is a token of social commerce, a common language for the world's richly varied peoples. This shining symbol of the world community is now available for individual possession. And what, dear bidder, is a more fitting object of purchase than a coin? Isamo Yamaguchi, Fluctuations of Order and Chaos, 2010 Ah, what's this I hear? A symphony, a rhythmic gondolier. No, the music of the spheres. Fantastic. Yamaguchi's first post-historical sculpture coaxes a hushed, hypnotic hymn from sources hidden in nature, an instrument of telling sensitivity, a kinetic marvel. Who resists the lure of this humble holographic siren? Give in. Draw the mythic genie from its lamp, a sound choice for any collector. French guillotine. An ingenious piece of engineering, this guillotine is the self-same one 
used to separate Marie Antoinette from her head. Dine on Petit Four as you meditate upon this historic object, a selection from the cutting edge. Grauman's Chinese Theater, the last movie theater in Los Angeles, 20th century. You too can be a star when you walk down Hollywood Boulevard, the outstanding structure of Hollywood's golden years. Grauman's begins the walk of fame, yours a dream acquisition. The racehorse, greased lightning. What a beast. The sinews, the musculature, the skeletal integrity. This splendid animal performed outstandingly in 2004, winning racing's triple crown in reward. As sire of the promising two-year-old Lucky Lightning, Greased Lightning has been covetously observed for his performance on the stud farm. Rarely does such an opportunity come through the auction house. And remember, the race is to the swift. Greek Amphora Man, the greatest marvel of all. That spirit lives through the work of the artist in this gorgeous example of 5th century B.C. ceramics, forged in the red-hot fires of millennia past, a beautiful example of the Grecian spirit, and suitable for flowers as well. What more could a collector ask? Greek bronze, Rias warrior, circa 450 B.C. This soldier is primed for a battle of bidders. He has been trained in the art of sculpted ideals and will stand proudly in the most revered collections. Bathe him in light, dress him in honor, leave nothing to imagination. His hollow body resonates with the unmatched achievements of the ancients. He is as big as life and closer to perfection than the gods. Payment is due on delivery. Greek Kouros, circa 540 to 515 B.C. Greek men were not shy. They were not ashamed of their bodies, and they had nothing to be ashamed of. This larger-than-life youth was a romantic ideal, not dissimilar to the idols of the twentieth century, gods in human form. Note the swelling muscles and the full curve of the chest, the Explicit sensuality. For the esthete in you, a prideful acquisition. Pablo Picasso, Guernica, 1937. Agony, spawned in the aftermath of the saturation bombing of Guernica, this work crystallized humanity's cry of pain. The torment caused by ever more modern warfare is marked with expressive forms inscribed in fittingly monochrome hues, a dark milestone from the master of modern form. Elvis Presley's Guitar, 1963 This is no ordinary guitar. It produces no ordinary sound. Note the fine, mellow grain of its wood, the graceful undulations of its form. Pluck its supple strings. Fill your heart, not with pain, 
he will come back again. Dear Bitter, don't be lonesome tonight. A hip-slung beauty fit for a king. Is it you? T. Armies, Gynomorform 36D, 2003 Some people say this isn't art. Mere fabrication, they shout. Pay no attention. This kinetic marvel of futuristic form and color is art at its subversive best. An exotic bird lifting its wings in protest. It's all ingenuity. And all woman, too. Torrid. Very important. The first post-abstractionist nude. Catch it while you can. Hellenistic Marble, Nike of Samothrace, circa 190 B.C. If life is merely one rung on the stairway to heaven, material things are of little consequence. Still, how to reveal the glory of great moments to our children? They pass too quickly. Here is the outstanding example history has to offer of true grace under pressure. Surely you can feel the wind whip her drapery into splendid masses, the mist glistening on her wings. Only one bidder can really know her fluid charms. Hubble Space Telescope, 1991 Look here. On a clear day, you can see to the end of time. Such breadth of vision was not thought possible, but it is. A personal viewing pleasure, an out-of-body experience for the enlightened collector. Initial Tailgating Exhaust Sensor 1997 A nostalgic item, hearkening back to the era of highway bumper cars. Remember the thrill of the chase and the denouement of the released toxic cloud. Take a trip down memory lane, but don't breathe too deeply, unless, of course, you're wearing your respirator. An inspiring choice. Uranian Carpet. The legends of the carpets of the East abound. Shall you, the lucky bidder, travel through astral realms aboard its elegantly entwined threads? Shall you gaze down upon mortal realms from a lofty perch in fantasy while the crowds scurry about their business below? Whatever the truth, this deeply imbued example of the weaver's craft will transport you anew if you are the winning bidder. Matthias Grunewald, Isenheim Crucifixion, circa 1510 to 1515. Truly shocking, too tragic to bear, and yet. This nocturnal agony somehow soothes the soul as a powerful instrument of healing. In the realm of the spirit, everything is perfect, and so it is with great works of art. Compromising Photos of J. Edgar Hoover How often it is that the persecutor is a practitioner. In these photographs, the chief lawman lets his hair down for the viewing enjoyment of a select few. Will you join them, dear bidder? Such intimacy after sixty years of secrecy and repression. In these more enlightened times, shall we forgive and forget injustice? Or shall these photos serve as an object of meditation on the traversal of the inner and outer realms. 
the choice is yours. Kerbluey Baseball Bat, 1994 Sports and pathology collide in this piece of Americana, an irresistible icon of America's twin soul, recently evolved into a symbol of emotional restraint, the perfect entree to a unique kind of club. It can be yours if you boldly bid. Aristide Mayol, La Méditerranée, 1902 to 1905. Density, Mother Earth herself, the female form forged in massive metal, from this modern classicist, a modern classic. Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec, La Toilette. 1896. How intimately framed. With Lautrec, we are within this intimate scene, so quietly, a boudoir with an azure taste. With a forceful framing and sure draftsmanship for which the painter is renowned. A lovely work. Giotto di Bondoni's Lamentation, circa 1305. There may not have been a Renaissance if not for Giotto. He gave figures far off in biblical history a lifelike proximity with a realistic variety of attitude and dress, one of the first to draw accurately on the deepest emotions. Note the outstretched arms of Jesus giving solace even at his last breath. This definitive work of art has survived flood, war, and the death of religion, yet it comes to the auction on the wings of angels. Diego Velázquez, Las Meninas, 1656 Just what is this young king proposing to his queen? Have they caught you looking? It was this Baroque master's sly intention to prove everyone a voyeur, even his own king and queen. An enormous canvas, it titillates viewers even today with its tricky smiles, six staring pairs of eyes, and beautiful palette. A major acquisition, perfect for a hall of mirrors. The Last Baseball, 1999. This bright symbol of a grand old sport goes on the block for the very first time. The only remaining souvenir of the last home run. A priceless gem miraculously recovered from a diamond long gone. A rare acquisition. The sole remaining arch of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, 2003. A fond remembrance of America's best-loved memory, the city by the bay. Pay homage to a cultural mecca and bid, not farewell, but adieu. Honor the past with a generous bid. The last remaining tract of rainforest. Shall the earth endure? Or shall we bid ourselves into oblivion, blithely regarding the end of our world as yet another amusing event? Here is an opportunity to preserve the realm in which we dwell, to ensure that life does indeed go on. The virtues of custodial responsibility are many. And you may winter there as well. Heed the call of the wild. Last Terrorist Bomb, 2004 Start your day with a bang. Here is an item that means business. 
this odd piece of metal, nestled so sweetly in its styrofoam bed, once brought death to untold innocence. Now, defused, it serves as an object of contemplation, the perfect conversation starter for any affair, sure to reverberate throughout your collection. Espionage is a dangerous game. Laocoon, for instance, was a patriot priest who tried to warn his people of the Trojan horse. He was strangled with his sons by assassins in the service of Poseidon. This crushing event, captured by the Greeks in dramatic you-are-there style, says it all. Note the wildly rolling eyes, the cold serpentine grip of disaster, a fearsome acquisition. Édouard Manet's Le Déjeuner sur l'Herbe, 1863 the master of post-impressionist art cast a naked eye on archaic Puritan values, as we see in this smoothly handled portrayal of Love in the Afternoon. Its ambiguous informality was once met with public hostility, but today we must greet it with open arms. Remember, it's not what you see, but how you look that counts. Who will embrace its bucolic indecency? Who will picnic with desire? Art tells us all we need to know when we take the trouble to ask. Limbourg Brothers Les très riches heures du Duc de Berry 1413-16 this precursor to the farmer's almanac was the luxury item of its day, and its illuminated pages enchant us still. How wonderful to be lost in such manifold beauty. Few earthly calendars have the warmth and delicacy of this one, none its gilded zodiacal glow. Is it in the stars for you, dear bidder? We shall see. The Maudlin Library, the complete collection. Considered the work of a visionary, this invaluable library includes Dr. Maudlin's secret plans for virtual daycare leather-bound with soft, gold-lettered spines, an intelligent acquisition. The Magic Bullet from the Kennedy Assassination, 1963 Who says politicians have no imagination? In the Warren Report, respected representatives of the public trust reached for a Looney Tune solution to an unexplainable theory. Perhaps they were trying to lighten the national mood. No careers in comedy ensued for the senators involved, but the bullet, remarkably pristine after its many labors, is here today, fully intact. A bewildering opportunity. Music for Celestial Instruments, Original Manuscript, circa 1440. One may train hard to understand the strange choreography on this page, but this noteworthy manuscript must not be studied, but felt. It must be yours, dear bidder. It's in the stars. Martian Monument, Undated. Still the subject of wild speculation, this monument has never been explained. Add your weary brain to those of WASA's scientists who strove for fifteen years to unlock its secrets in vain. 
a mystery prize for an adventurous bidder. Master Bedroom, Versailles, circa 1670. Ah, to know the glorious slumber of a king, the finest linens, the most elaborate brocades, the airy splendor of golden surrounds. Never mind the richly carved wood of the conjugal bed. The moldings alone are truly magnificent. To the lucky bidder, Exclusive admission to the Sun King's former Chamber of Dreams. Albrecht Dürer, Melancholia I, 1514 Eyes burning, a winged genius sits among her useless tools, behind a ladder to nowhere, paralyzed by a sudden absence of inspiration. Make haste, friend. The hourglass runs out. A Midwestern Roadside Diner Back in the days when food was real and semis roamed the land, intrepid travelers braved the highways and stopped to refuel at such charming pied-à-terres as this one. Sit within and imagine dining on cooked animals and boiled roots. Simply raise your hand, and the bid is yours. Ming Vaz, circa 1550. Let us recall the meaning of a great collection, that you are what you own. The bidder claiming this luminous ceramic must be, like the emperor for whom it was made, a person of enlightened taste. Regard the vessel's shapely contours, hand-painted with the finest brush. Delicate, dragon-like tendrils flow across its horizon like a heavenly vine. Legend says... Its owner will breathe eternal good fortune, and not another like it, anywhere. Miniature Mummy Coffin from Tutankhamun's Tomb, circa 1361 B.C. Ancient Egypt, a tapestry of wealth and power, sand and sun, ornament and order, from the legendary house of Tut, an ornate and intimate treasure, be quick and bid. Modified Superhero Number One, 1994 What is that flying through the air? Is it a bird or a plane? No, this is comic relief. Personified, no more graphic or more pointed representation of 1990s sexual hypocrisy is known to exist. We are amused. A nimble bid will bring an all-day smile to the owner of this piece of rare Americana. Leonardo's Mona Lisa Circa 1505. This is the world's most famous painting. It has been so for hundreds of years. This enigmatic maiden has traveled several continents. She is admired by millions. She was once carried off by thieves in the great Louvre scandale of the early 20th century. Others have tried to possess her by adding imprints of their own, moustaches, for instance, or sunglasses. To own this masterpiece is to be the envy of all. Need I say more? Gracious bidder, what are you waiting for? This is the chance of your lifetime.
Moon Fossil, 2010 Some footprints are unforgettable. From far-off realms we seem to hear them, and our eyes do not deceive us. Give a home to this traveler of light years, and perhaps his descendants will return the favor. A bid for the adventurous soul. Mary Cassatt, Mother and Child, 1892 The tender maternal embrace, fragrant warmth and intimate reflection. This scene of maternal bonding finds the secret of the eternal feminine. Do the brief lessons of childhood not become the lasting glories of womanhood? A rose-scented invitation to view the discreet charms of the bourgeoisie. To the collector who bids wisely, may the bloom of youth never fade. Nancy Reagan Formal Wear Ownership in Dispute 1990 They've been to the best parties. Their photos have been seen all over the world, and they've only been worn once. The outfits that make today's fashion followers see red. For the high-profile collector, a gorgeous wardrobe that won't just say no. Original Apollo 11 Moon Landing Tapes, 1969 Are we rolling, Buzz? This was what alerted investigators to the most successful non-event of the Cold War, the famous faked moon landing of 1969. A cow may as well have jumped over it. The complete tapes, including outtakes. United States Equal Rights Amendment, 1998, original copy. Never mind your birth certificate, your divorce decree. This is the most important signed document since the Declaration of Independence. The paper that toppled the power structure will raise your status without fail. A choice opportunity. Benvenuto Cellini, Perseus, 1545-1554 Perseus beheading the Medusa, the forceful stance, the grotesque trophy, the prominent sword, a shocking presentation, come bidder, do open your purse, but don't lose your head. Personal Ozone Shield, 1996 Remember, if you will, bidders, the beach. Here is an actual accoutrement for seaside activities used in the pre-restricted era. Imagine sun, sea, sand. Yes, the real thing. A nostalgic reminder of vanished opportunities for the tenacious collector. Michelangelo Buonarroti, Pietà, 1499. A sculpture of staggering poignancy. It captures not only the religious fervor of the Middle Ages, but the unbreakable bond between a mother and her son. Such tenderness. The perfection of contour, design, and illustration drains even the hardest hearts of hate. A miracle that a formless block of stone could become an object more perfect than nature. A work of unsurpassed poetry. An achievement of the highest order. Flawless. Pocket Gen, 1995 Remember genetic distinctions? This modest-looking device was a tool for brutal discrimination back in the days of nation-states. 
amuse yourself with your friends, but please recall how recently such discriminations ruled. A historic item. Pompeian Fresco, Villa of Mysteries, circa 50 B.C. An avenging angel arrives at the House of Mysteries, a thriving port city, Bordello, where a curious Dionysian ritual is in progress among the mortal nymphs. Seconds later, burning tongues of lava, flying pumice, ash and stone incinerate this journey to pleasure and pain, baking the walls in its unique glaze of Pompeian red. The act of God that blew Vesuvius was also a gesture of dazzling purification. A hot opportunity. Jim Morrison by Ronald Hernandez, 1990 Oh my, the face that launched a thousand sighs, Jim Morrison. God made him perfect, and Hernandez made him matter. The bedroom eyes, the moist lips, the abundant locks, a soft parade of hard-living erogeny. Theodore Jericho, The Raft of the Medusa, 1819 The great ship Medusa has gone down in a terrible tempest, with 149 passengers on board, all crowd into a single raft, towed by the officers' boats. The sea swells, the raft is cut adrift, Quel horreur! Only fifteen people survive, half mad with thirst, tormented by the equatorial sun. In this monumental canvas, Jericho gives us an epiphany the moment the rescue ship is sighted in the distance. From the progenitor of emotional violence on canvas, a painting to... Sink your competition once and for all. Ravenna Mosaic The Miracle of the Loaves and Fishes Circa 504 In ancient days, the stories of the Bible were told in the language of sacred symbols, providing unsurpassed decoration on the walls and ceilings of churches. This dazzling mosaic appeared as a vision encircled by jewels, an illusion that will bring present-day beholders to their knees as well, a transformative acquisition. Reggie Walker's paper on the Grand Unified Theory, 1999. Here it is, the handwritten slingshot with which Reggie's David slew the scientific Goliath. Free from the conditioning of education, his mind grasped the kernel of matter and wrestled it into language for all to apprehend. A monument to the creativity of the human spirit, and now available to the highest bid. Writes to the Last Grass and Dirt Ballpark, Fenway Park, Boston, 20th Century. Sink your hands in the freshly turned earth. Lay on your back a genuine blade of grass between your teeth. This is no fantasy of yesteryear, but your permanent open-air pleasure, a landmark acquisition. Roman Statue, Antinous, circa 140. To Hadrian, a man of culture, Antinous was a hero. But the emperor commissioned only his favorite's head to be made before superimposing it on another, better developed body. 
an ingenious adaptation of the Hellenic ideal and a Bacchanalian conquest for you. Mantegna's St. Sebastian, circa 1460. Oh, the agony, the aching beauty. Suffering has never seemed closer to divine, the renewal of faith more seductive. Sebastian, a Roman martyr of the third century, survived the emperor Diocletian's slings and arrows only to die by the club. He became a favorite of Renaissance painters who often pictured him in the fey, provocative pose he takes here. But Mantegna's dramatic treatment transforms it to one of piercing ecstasy, a glorious gift to any collection. Salvage rights to the contents of the Los Angeles County Museum. Here is an item to make your head spin, the contents of an entire museum. Retrieving this enormous treasure will be the scavenger hunt of all time. Invite your friends to join you. Your enemies, too. All will adore your depth of commitment. Sammy and Samantha, a pair of swordfish, born 2004. Can it be? The last remaining swordfish known to exist. Survivors of the vicious species extermination brought on by commercial interests at the turn of the century, Sammy and Samantha are living reminders of a gentler age. Come, bitter, care for them. Mother Earth herself implores you. Bretton West's photograph, Seaweed Number 4. The celebrated Mr. West has granted us a new eye onto nature, his muse and consort. This splendid example from the master's middle period displays a sense of formal structure which elucidates but does not reveal the mysteries with which Mother Nature tantalizes and instructs her children. Yes, we are children of a great mystery. Shall we not be mindful? Gaze upon it at will, if it is to be yours. Frida Kahlo, Self-Portrait with a Monkey, 1940 she sees, and through her deep eyes you see as well. Gaze into the strange symbiosis of vision and vitality, as her furry familiar gazes too. The soul is dark, and knows all. Can you capture it with a bid? Vincent van Gogh, Self-Portrait with Bandaged Ear, 1889 This matchless van Gogh captures the artist's agonizing self-scrutiny to think he lived and died penniless, and that we bid millions for a painting born in the aftermath of humiliation. Ah, but is life fair? Note the bandage which covers his ear, self-mutilated in a fit of despair. A splendid piece for any wall. Sensorium, 1998 Heaven itself, cosmic energy courses through the body, bringing the mind solar wind and lunar fire, the world's most beautiful surroundings, guaranteed to relieve bidding room stress, just the thing for today's collector. The Skull of the Norwegian Clairvoyant Elk, 2009 to think that we once imagined our mental realms were private, 
an amusing conceit today, but before Edgar's time, one widely believed. Dear Bitter, embrace the skull that served as vessel for that great souled elk. He brought us a deeper understanding, and now it is time for us to up the antler, that is, ante. I'm sure you know what I mean. Her Bluey Baseball Bat, 1994 Sports and pathology collide in this piece of Americana, an irresistible icon of America's twin soul, recently evolved into a symbol of emotional restraint, the perfect entree to a unique kind of club. It can be yours if you boldly bid. Suicides, 1999. This toxic offender was a central bone of contention among millennial opponents of tobacco-assisted bliss, health interests making a last-gasp effort to limit forms of oral disclosure. A mordant addition to light up the life of any auction house habitué. Here is a treasure no wind will blow certain to become the crucible of an important collection. Rembrandt Van Rien's Syndics of the Cloth Guild, 1662 Here we see the master of Dutch irreverence in one of his finest hours. Observe the guilty countenance on the assembled faces here, less an official portrait than a muckraking expose, proof of a merchant spy network in the making, a rare peek into the executive suite of another age, for the collector with a conscience, a crucial acquisition. Axel Grease Tattoo, 1997 Taking possession of this redemptive tattoo is like having a backstage pass to a superstar's dressing room or a hotel room. As its bearer, you have entree anywhere. No door will be closed to you again. Temple of Commerce, 1998 Here is a rare opportunity a splendid piece of architecture incarnating humanity's most craven impulses, a triumph of excess. While away the hours in the coin-encrusted confessional booths, speculating on deals gone bad and acquisitions and mergers in the offing, not for everybody, but you know who you are. Bid without restraint, and ascend to the highest plane of material expenditure. El Greco The Adoration of the Shepherds 1597-1600 to This depiction of the nativity is most illuminating. The expressively attenuated figures and fantastical imagery push the work into the realm of vision where the divine impinges on the human. Note the sculptural handling of the paint. The figures appear as if illuminated from within. The work glows with an intense and fiery spirituality. Jan van Eyck, The Arnolfini Marriage, 1434 Have you ever wondered where the soap opera began? Dear Bidder, this is the place, the underbelly of upper-crust ritual marriage. He was so rich, and she was so barefoot and pregnant. Yet the sanctity of their bond lies deep in the bed of fidelity, symbolized here 
by the darling puppy. To possess this painting is to witness the stuff of gossip, yes, but also true love with honor. Be true to yourself, dear collector. Always follow your heart and bid with your own money. Bruegel, The Blind Leading the Blind, circa 1561 How like us, dear bidders, are these poor fools. We look to one another, and the ditch is near, a mirror upon humanity's plight. Be careful whom you follow, and do bid with open eyes. The British Crown Jewels What decor would not be enhanced by the crowning glories of royalty? Imbued with historical resonance, the crown jewels signified the unassailable power and permanence of the English throne. For a while, anyway. Now these immeasurably valued treasures can be had for the highest bid. A rare opportunity, indeed. Paul Cezanne, The Card Players, 1890-1895 The simple drama of daily life is suffused with the revelation and underlying order of geometry and form. The father of modern painting reveals the platonic world in the mundane. And yes, dear bidder, these forms can be yours. Pierre-Auguste Renoir, The Dance at the Moulin de la Galette, 1876 Oh, for a night in Paris in the spring, catch the glimmering light on the Seine, the exultant color of the good life, the pervading sense of mirth, a radiant elegy to the realm of the senses. This masterwork defines the essence of Joie de vivre, not just an acquisition, an affirmation of the heart. Piero della Francesca, the Duke and Duchess of Urbino, 1474. For those who would like to rub noses with a masterpiece, there exists no better opportunity than this. Noble, impassive. The Tuscan profile dominates all its surroundings. You might call this glistening double portrait the first close-up in painting. A small movement of the hand will bring it closer still. Buff Goons Amy Fisher, 1993 Ah, what is sweeter than revenge? Who among us can kiss and not tell? Not many, but a few can. In the king of commodities' luscious portrait of America's sweetheart, the once bashful Amy Fisher, the relationship of prime time to punishment is finally clear. Goon's droll commentary on the excitations of youth casts the path of fame in the roots of shame. A sculpture that made headlines to the bidder who makes haste. Hieronymus Bosch's The Garden of Earthly Delights A journey to a strange and wonderful world awaits the beholder of this peerless work by this early master of inner life. How curious the forms within, how, shall we say, bizarre the scenes beheld. What viewer will not be transported into the presence of this work, and what home will not be transfigured by its presence? Surely a matchless offering.
Auguste Rodin's The Gates of Hell, 1880-1917. Some say hell is the bottom of the heap. Some say it's the top. Some say it's a bar on Hollywood Boulevard. It depends on your perspective. As we see here, the door to damnation is riddled with the wreckage of human suffering. Not a door you'd want to knock. Rodin, always a man of compassion, brought this imperfect destination of the soul to a state of gothic grandeur. A frightfully good selection. Cave painting from The Hall of the Bulls, circa 15,000 B.C. Let me take you back, back to the dawn of civilization, when cave painting was the center of underground art. Primitive, yes, but how it glows. A lyrical dance to the wildebeest in all of us. How blessed the bidder who protects it from extinction. Degas' Little Fourteen-Year-Old Dancer, 1880 This dainty young woman's first great moment in the limelight, can you hear the applause? It speaks not only to her magical beauty, but to her creator's profound gentility a man whose affection for youth, ballet, and the dramatic silhouette found sublime synthesis in his art. Bewitching the truth, he called it. Degas is a master one must acquire, or be forever the poorer. The Nature Dome, Toronto, 21st Century Care for an intoxicating whiff of real air? How about a romp in the, dare we say it, grass? Yes, bidders, a relic from a time gone by when nature spoke to humankind in her own tongue. You may hear her still if you do her bidding. Max Beckman the Night, 1918 to 1919. The artist lays bare the human fact, grotesque brutality in a world distressed. In the ashes of the First World War, Beckman sensed the descending storm of modern oppression in this early work. Look into the face of society, dear bidder. The truth can be had. The Nose of Rhodes From the visage of the historic Colossus of Rhodes comes this olifactory organ supreme, a proboscis of magisterial proportions with the undeniable scent of grandeur. To whom will the bid go? Who knows? Peter Paul Rubens, The Rape of the Daughters of Leucippus, 1617 A flood of golden hair and pearly skin has brought the daughters of Leucippus into a heaving landscape of lust. Rubens rivaled Velasquez for the favors of King Philip, and with this painting he sought favor at court. As the owner of this spiraling work, glamour and power can now be yours. The Resin Goose, 1994 Have you a bit of wanderlust? More effective than a nautilus machine, this recreational vehicle is a total workout for those who like to travel light. A nimble bid will bring the resin goose down to earth with flying colors. Edvard Munch's painting, The Scream, 
Monk's profound gift was surely his innate capacity to not only experience, but also convey the emotional realities to which all of us are prey. Not merely the good and the exalted, but also the complex, the painful, the lowly. The new owner will have many long hours to meditate upon this emotional state, a matchless work. Jean Honoré Fragonard, The Swing, 1766 A rococo fantasy in fragile eggshell hues. A fair damsel suspended in air between the repelling arms of her aged husband and the rapturous gaze of her young lover. Ah, what charms his eyes alight upon. She has made her choice. Have you, dear bidder, made yours? The Teller Tool, 1995 Promoted as the handyman of the modern world, this quaint aid to self-defense is still an effective conversation piece. Empower yourself and your collection of designer implements. May the force be with you. Raphael, The Three Graces, circa 1500. Ah, what beauty! Dare we indulge its demands on our affections? For Raphael, we must. This painter of sweet Madonnas here gave himself to the harmony of the graces, sheer loveliness, pure and simple. The figure is full and ripe, the demeanor tranquil, the composition one of delicate balance, a portrait of charm itself. From the Messiah of Neoclassicism, a matchless work. Surely the apple of your eye. Caspar David Friedrich, The Tree of Crows, 1810 the wind sings eerily and emptiness abounds. The black crows perched on the twisted tree, while off in the dappled sky an array of black-winged souls. A philosopher of mood, the painter transports us to an inner world. Who shall acquire this work of visual poetry? Gaze and traverse the realms. The Voyager spacecraft returned. Long ago, this splendid ship hurtled across the cosmos, sending back images of profound celestial beauty and carrying a message destined for extraterrestrial life. Now she returns. The awesome mystery of the Voyager's homeward flight enchants us with questions that cannot be answered. Yet. Shall you be the custodian of this, our maiden interworld vessel? Yes, if you offer the highest bid. Claude Monet's Two Haystacks, 1891 So light on their feet, they seem to have just dropped from heaven. Monet's glorious haystack huts seem to levitate above amber waves of grain. A dreamy landscape, no? What magically brushed detail. A rich harvest from the Impressionist's Impressionist. May you reap it now in full. Umberto Boccioni's Unique Forms of Continuity in Space 1913. 
Here we have a charging figure of unbridled kinetic prowess, dissolving into myriad forms of aesthetic evolution, a peak experience in optical and spiritual immediacy. This fleet-footed bronze was the finest hour in futurist sculpture, and now the future can be yours. Unsealed Kennedy Papers, 1964 It was a shot heard round the world. Or was it two? Or three? At last, the collector who possesses these documents will know the source of confusion surrounding the greatest scandal of the twentieth century, the most troubling incident in American public life. Who does not ache to view the evidence first? Not only a rare opportunity, a patriotic duty. Vasily Gregor's copy of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights December 10th, 1948 A new world declared Yes, more than fifty years before the ratification of the world body constitution, the future was paved by the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This special copy was the treasured possession of young Vasily Gregor, who became the primary architect of our constitution. And who cannot visualize the young Vasily perched atop his yak? trekking across the Carpathian Mountains with the small blue booklet so heavily perused. Seize history in your hands and be the proud custodian of this priceless manuscript. Titian's painting, Venus of Urbino the goddess of love herself, realized by the hand of the master colorist. How she gazes at us from that world of light and the shimmering view which we are afforded. And of course, there is the dog as well. Who would deny the attentions of Venus? A splendid work. Venus of Willendorf, circa 25,000 B.C. The pride of Willendorf, this enduring, voluptuous creature, represents the first human effort in the art of chipped stone. Extraordinary, is she not? Probably history's most avant-garde nude, certainly the most maternal, a testament to woman's place in the ancient world very near the nursery, perfect for nurturing a growing collection. The rights to the duel of performance artists Bert Crisden and Gino Focacci. These men are placing their lives on the altar of art. Yes, and death will mark the one, life the other. What more profound message, what more moving truth. Death stalks the performance and will not leave unsated, and you may hold the tracings of its passage, if you will. Hokusai's view of Mount Fuji. The world floats by and the solid world melts into the eternal forms from which all things spring. Our temporal concerns vanish, and we too are suspended above the ether. Who among us would not opt for such a state? A rare opportunity. Byzantine Icon, Virgin with Child 14th century. Sanctity seems to reflect from this masterpiece, from the high era of traditional gilded icons.
not an ornament for pride or vanity. This golden work served the spirit as the object of attention in meditation. What communion awaits the new owner of this link between the temporal and eternal realms? The 18 Missing Minutes, Richard Nixon Watergate Tape, 1972 The Watergate hearings never quite revealed what Richard Nixon said or when he might have said it. Here at last is the actual voice of Tricky Dick, founder of the misspoken word, an item you'll love to kick around with your friends. Indestructible. Sheila Masterson, WFC Performance, date to be announced. The tabloids have dubbed this event Restlessly Seeking Celebrity, but what do they know? Masterson's Take No Prisoners Accept No Posers approach always risks such specious gossip. Do not be fooled. Her dramatic investigations into female sexuality have liberated thousands from the objectifying male gaze, a radical or a visionary. This yet-to-be-seen performance plan is said to describe the artist's most arresting work to date, an essential piece for the influential collector.